Hello Aries and welcome to your December 2018 tarot readings with me. Let's get started. How is this month of December for Aries? Well, the first week of December, my dear Aries, is bringing for you a very positive energy of security and success. It is concerning an information, a news, that you have been awaiting since long. This particular news is concerned with an important aspect of your life. It can be your sentimental, it can be your professional, it can be related to your health. And whatever it is getting, it is uh, getting a kind of a news, this first week is getting a news wherein an improvement is taking place in that particular sector of your life. I see it more coming on the work field, my dear Aries. You have been maybe expecting um, a particular project to get through a contract, a tender to be passed. Something like that is happening uh, in the first week. And you are um, going to be supported in whatever you do in this first week. You have a lot of support of your loved ones. You have a lot of support from your team. If, you, if it is concerning your work, it is all about teamwork. You are having a lot of support on this side, my dear Aries. And it is a wonderful energy. This is what I see. And I also see that um, there is a neat uh, progress in your activities. There is an improvement if there have been some kind of, um, how do you say, uh, if there have been some kind of, you know, blockages on your path, then I'm seeing the neat <coughs> improvement taking place in the first week for you and whatever um, has been on the hold my dear Aries you will see that there is a kind of a progress that is taking place and this progress is taking you uh, towards your goals my dear Aries this is what is the first week's experience and I am seeing that your experience and your thought process are getting married to each other and because of this union, you will be able to accelerate progress in the fields desired. So if it is for your professional field, my dear Aries, then definitely your experience in that particular work field, along with your thinking, your rapid decision making uh, and your wonderful communication at that particular point of time is going to come very, very handy. If it is a sentimental field, is the same thing is like your life's experience is going to tell you how to handle this particular situation so that it yields success for you. So it's all in all, it's a very, very uh, progressive energy for the first week, uh, my dear Aries, that is starting. Now coming to the second week. Well, the second week's energy is much more, it's quite related to the first week's energy. It's also very positive energy as far as, as, far as um, spontaneous initiatives are taking place. Something uh, very spontaneous and creative that is coming from your side is going to, um, you know, is going to structure the second week for you is going to get something a nouvelle something new uh, something more enterprising something more creative inside the aries mind and psyche i would say yes and uh, i also see a lot of traveling taking place my dear aries the first and second week is this energy of movement that is taking place there is a lot of uh, traveling taking place some of you will travel abroad some of you are uh, going to other cities there is a lot of networking kind of energy in the second week also which is coming from the first week this is what i'm seeing also and um, all in all whatever is related to your creative inspiration in the second week is very much favored so if you feel that you need to start something or some of you might almost almost get started with something new this is what is seen also and as i'm seeing the number three i'm feeling this is a lot to do with communication with people there's a lot to do with uh, convincing this is a lot to do with negotiations my dear aries and this is a lot to do with um coming to a golden conclusion through these negotiations this is what i'm seeing for the second week for you my dear aries so all in all again i will say that this is a very very positive um positive energy for 
creating an enterprise to start something new to start something uh, which is just coming as a sheer genius inspiration so follow your inspiration and follow this creativity that is getting you know uh, rejuvenated inside of inside of you my dear aries and with this loving wonderful energy we are going to the third week and the third week is what it is about a marriage most probably you are attending a marriage my dear aries or most probably um, you are also collaborating and why not in the first two weeks all the help that you have got all the negotiations you have done something is being signed my dear aries what are you buying what are you collaborating on which partnership are you getting into are you getting engaged are you getting married this is all about bonding energy this is all about coming together creating something together this is the union energy that is taking place in the third week uh, some of you might go on a, a escapade that we say you will you will be going uh, with your loved one some of you will um, uh, some of you will go with your loved one to uh, to a kind of a holiday place or you know you'll take some few days off and you'll just tell your beloved Ali let's go <laughs> let's go and enjoy ourselves away from everyone just both of you go and take some time off and enjoy yourselves um, so this is what the energy is also some of you are attending a wedding or you are yourself getting married there is an energy of marriage that is seen and this marriage um, energy uh, for this third week is not just about the uh, marriage but it is also about uh, the marriage of minds the marriage of ideas the marriage on the paper of two firms that means a collaboration a business partnership is quite possible that you are signing in at this point of time and um, this feeling is of harmony this feeling is of oneness this feeling is of love in this um, in this particular third week my dear Aries for you and it's a wonderful energy it's a wonderful energy uh, which is getting two individuals uh, two individual firms to individual minds, to individuals, uh, to unite, to create something new. And this is what is the energy for you for the third week. Then we come to the fourth week. Now the fourth week's energy is a bit tricky energy. Okay, because what is happening is that uh, most probably some of the Aries um, will take a distance from uh, their partner or they are forced to take a distance when i say forced to take a distance what does that mean means you are um, you are made to travel <laughs> in the last week and you're going away from your from your beloved and because of that uh, you feel a bit you know the separation the pangs of separation you're not feeling nice about it because it's duty and you have to go and you're a bit away from uh, your loved one in the last week because you have to attend something important um, either way either it is for the work or for family responsibilities you are going alone and your partner is somewhere else or your partner is leaving uh, for something so this is what is happening also uh, in the last week of December dear Aries this uh, energy is that of um, I would say this energy is that of separation this energy is that of not feeling you know it's the opposite energy of the third week okay when there is a union is the third week the fourth is almost about the separation about the bifurcation of ideas so there is something that is not on the same page than you dear Aries and um, this is where you will have to be very careful because um, to deal with this energy of course if you are away from your loved one I understand you are going to miss them but you know Skype WhatsApp phone calls so many things are there now to help you to see them again right and um, if it is regarding your business like you expected something to happen and uh, you felt something was really going on the right track and suddenly some kind of roadblocks come on your path suddenly maybe there is something regarding paperwork that is not fine and there you realize that oh, oh and that is creating a kind of a feeling of uh, restlessness a feeling of uh, worry and you know it's bothering energy like oh we thought everything was done and now what's this new thing coming up 
can be related to some kind of taxes it can be related to some kind of um, surprise payments that uh, you didn't take into consideration that that, that had to happen uh, that you had to make and it also um, relates to this uh, energy of uh, of a divorce for some of you it is also um, those of you who have not been going quite well um, well at this point of time you say you know either we separate you take your time on your sides you prefer to be alone and you know move over things ruminate those things in order to see if it is okay or not to go ahead or um, some of you might almost um, you know say okay I cut off and you know you are just uh, signing the divorce papers mutually or maybe you start thinking of going for a divorce also so um, well all these possibilities of cutting separation this is this kind of energy but I would like to tell you something we can make this energy better and you know how um, it's about separation right it's about uh, cutting off it is about distancing why don't you use this energy rather why don't we use this energy in order to cut off from some bad habits of ours because the year is ending so why not use this separative or divisive energy into just you know separating ourselves from something that is toxic to us from something that is not good for our well-being not good for our family maybe cutting down on alcohol uh, which is bad for you most probably uh, you have been drinking a lot and now the doctor says you have to take care of your liver you know so taking care of that part just you know like you say okay you make a resolution that you're going to cut off from this kind of thing so cutting off from um, maybe if you have some habits that you would like to leave uh, that you would like to cut off from your life just you know use this cutting of energy for this positive thing so that what happens is that you're inducing something positive still in this fourth week and that would be really nice cut off from people who are toxic for your well-being and mental peace cutting off from uh, bad habits cutting off from uh, you know uh, food habits that were not healthy or a unhealthy lifestyle so you know there are so many things that we can cut off from just to make our lives beautiful and happy isn't it so try to use this fourth week's energy I said to your advantage even if it is this kind of energy let's use it to our advantage and to create something positive out of it yeah so do that my dear Aries I would say and uh, you know the last day of the of the year uh, just enjoy yourselves and just say that I achieved cutting off from so many things that were not okay for me which didn't serve well the way I maybe your attitude you you cut off from your uh, past attitude because maybe that was getting some blocks on your path so now you have a renewed attitude and you are approaching uh, the same problem with a renewed attitude and maybe something positive you are creating out of it so try to do that my dear Aries I really feel in every negative situation you know there is a positive uh, opportunity to grow there is a positive opportunity to really expand your experience and uh, something to really grow spiritually also to evolve spiritually also my dear Aries so on that note I say thank you thank you thank you very much for being with me all through the year for accompanying me till the end of the year and um, I really thank you for all the support that you have um, given to me for being there for encouraging me with all your lovely and sweet comments and I'm sorry that I could sometimes I can you know um, answer all the comments sometimes I cannot but whenever I read them I'm very really happy it makes my day yes and I really really thank you from the bottom of my heart dear Aries so thank you very much and stay blessed always and I wish you lots of good things for the year to come and I'm gonna see you next time please do like share and comment and see you bye bye god bless bye